can you hear me? Yep. We're gonna get started. So, I think the best thing to do will be for you to present your screen to see if we have your Facebook all set up already. And if not, we'll get that set up. Okay. So, like at near the bottom of your screen, do you see a box with an arrow pointing up? It's in a circle. A box with an arrow pointing up. Yeah. Okay. Present now. Yeah, click on that. Okay. And then if you click that, is there a box or at the top it should say entire screen? Mm -hmm. Click on entire screen. And then click on the picture that it shows. And then hit share. All right. See where it says Meta Business Suite? Yeah. Click on that. Click. It's not loading right now. Could you click get started? It looks grayed out. Oh, there. Get started. And then just X out of that. All right. So the bottom left corner, see where it says help? Click on that. And then click on go to business manager. Right above that, yeah. And then click create an account. Then put in your business name up there and then business email. So this is where I would manage the ads in the business manager. So then you're gonna wanna, you can do this on your phone, go to your email Facebook should have sent you an email so that you can confirm that you wanted to create this account. Okay, now what? Uh, did you see an email from Facebook that wants you to confirm your email address? Uh, no, it says my chart. Okay, here's Meta uh, for Business. Yeah. Okay, there's Meta for Business Urgent, and there's Meta for Business, your business account. Um, cl try clicking on both of them to see what they say. One should say confirm your email address. So on the left panel, scroll all up a little and it should say pages. And then under pages, well click on pages actually. And then we're gonna add your Facebook page. Then click add a page. It's what we put in earlier. Yeah, so right there. Click on that. Then hit add page. Okay. On the left hand side, scroll down a little. There should be a spot that says add accounts. I see it right there. Actually, it was a little higher up. A little bit more. Yeah, right there, add accounts. Click on that. And then we're gonna add an add account for you. So click add. Then, can you scroll down on that a little? Where? No. I can't, I can't scroll like see where it says add an ad account hover over that and then scroll down click create a new ad account yeah there you go all right so ad account name then hit my business and then create
Then hit select all in the top left. And then hit manage ad accounts. So under full control, yeah. Yeah, hit the switch button there, yeah. And then hit assign. I'm not sure if it'll show it. Like it, it yeah. So hit next, and then you can stop sharing your screen while you put in your payment information, obviously. Tax info do I do it's required? What I put in there? Click edit. Mm, yeah, right there. See what it says. If you scroll down, does it say website down there? Oh, so it doesn't require a website now. So I would just fill out that. Okay, now if this is going to ask for my credit card information. The address I just used is not going to be on this card. So we'll, so we'll just other... see if you, you're doing a debit or credit card, correct? Yeah. So hit next and then see what it says, but don't put any information in yet. Yeah, so that'll ask for your information. So you can stop sharing your screen on the Google Meet now. I don't know how to do that. So... The top tab on your computer, the one that has the red circle. So all the way at the top. Yeah, that one. Click on that. And then see where it says stop presenting in the middle area? Yeah. Click on that. So now I can't see your screen. So we'll just do that for now so you can fill in your information. So if you're done with that, you can come back to the Google Meet tab at the top, the one with the red circle. Okay. And then at the bottom of your screen with the box and the arrow pointing up, the one that says present now when you hover over it. Where is it? It's, so are you on the Google Meet tab? So the Google Meet tab is somewhere at the top of your screen on the left with the red circle. Yeah, that's what I hit. All right. So then see like at the bottom of your screen, there's a box with an arrow pointing up. Okay, I see it. Click on that and then yeah. click on entire screen at the top. Let me know when you got that. I clicked it. All right, and then click the picture that it's showing. And then hit share. So now what I'm gonna do is share this account with me. So that's how I'll be able to manage your ads. On the left side, scroll to the top, the left panel. Then go to partners. Click on the ad on the left. You're going to need my business ID. And then on the right side, scroll down. And then hit everything, everything except sensitive actions. So that means I'll be able to control your ads, but I won't be able to see your credit card information or anything like that. Are the two supposed to be blue? Both of them? Yeah. Okay. And then see where it says revenue? Select that too. Above that. I don't, I don't see it yeah. yeah. So then just scroll up on the right side to make sure everything's selected. All right, good. So then... On the left-hand side, go to Classic Pages. I just want to like go through these. Um, go to Add Accounts below that. 
then see where it says select all and also yeah there you go so that's good I believe that would be it then hit save changes so then you can see my account there uh, we'll look at that down the road and then i'll always have your number to call you yeah of course i'll stay in contact with you yeah yeah i mean you're gonna give me updates of any ideas or changes you might want to make yep i might have like a few questions for you later down the line like once I get the ad set up, maybe some questions that I forgot to ask. But I think as of now, I got everything covered. Yeah, one thing you, um, you might want to do is, mm -hmm. uh, while, while you're setting this up, is um, uh, uh, veterans and first responders additional discounts. All right. Let me write that down. Do you know a specific amount of, like, how much discounted it would be? Or is it just, it depends well, on the I'll job? You, I'll give you an example. Let's just say um, you order the cabinets, you're a veteran, and I'm saving you 65% off, um, you know, yeah. about the regular price. There, there might be a wiggle room for 2 or 3% more. If I'm giving you... 50% discount, I might be able to uh, push that to 8 or 9% more. So it, it, yep. we never know. So, so you don't know, like, an exact percent? Um, no. Because uh, Facebook... would determine on what product they order. Yeah. So what do you mean by that? Like, cabinets, but then different types of cabinets and how expensive uh, they are? Okay, let's say you get a... Um, a shaker white okay that, that's the most common one what is that uh, um shaker white shaker white okay let's just say um that, that one has the least uh discount but if you go to a gray or a burgundy or, or uh, <clears throat> Uh, maple or walnut, uh, those could have different discounts also. So, All right. because the shake of weight is the most popular, they don't have to discount it as much. Yeah. See. So. so mm -hmm. They would determine on what they what what they order. Yeah, I was just wondering because Facebook ads always works better with a number. So if I said like, whatever percent off more people would be interested instead of saying just a discount so what i'm thinking i could do something like well what would be the highest discount you would do um or like percent probably up to 10 percent. 10 percent discount so i could create an ad that would say you could receive up to a 10 percent discount if you're a veteran or first responder something along the lines of yeah. that <clears throat> so it doesn't guarantee the 10 percent off but it's up to 10 percent yeah yeah because for example <clears throat> if i'm going to get a 70 percent discount off of a suggested retail price there's not a lot more room for the veterans discount mm -hmm. because they've already received 70 percent off so uh you do like 70 percent off the discount um excuse me yeah we, we do anywhere from 50 to 70 percent off of suggested retail price all right that's so good information for example, if, you, if your cabinets retail at sixteen thousand dollars 50 percent of that you only pay eight and then when you see that you just want well, yeah eight. you know people like oh okay i mean this is good stuff or is it cheap junk and then, of course, we hand them the, the, the door so they can feel how thick it is, five eight inch thick and so on. And uh, it, it's none of this cheap, um, wangy, dreamy stuff, you know? Yeah. So, it's high quality.
Uh, almost every builder uses this company. We got a 600,000 square foot um, storage facility in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. And we got three or four of them, like one in Texas and one in South Carolina. I mean, it's massive. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, that'd be really helpful information. The 50 to 70 percent off retail price, that would be really helpful for the ad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can, I tell you what, don't put in the, the first responders and yep. because I'll use that when I'm in the home and let's say I already know they're going to get a 60% discount. Yeah. Then I'll ask them, you know, I'll use it as So a you'll use it as your sales pitch, right? Yeah, I'll say, are you by any chance a first responder, retired or um, um, a veteran? Oh, I'm a veteran for an additional five percent you know and that way i don't have to give them ten percent or eight percent you know yeah and i can always adjust it according if i know they're getting the sixty percent i got a little more room i can go all the way up to seventy percent you see mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and it doesn't matter what product they order uh, to us they're all the same price yeah but the customer knows that certain ones cost more like you know, you know, your mahogany, your maples, and um, some of them, uh, they they know they're more expensive. So. Mm -hmm. So, I have a question for you, just uh, kind of off topic, but you said in a previous call that you had other agencies reaching out to you. Is that correct? Oh, I'm getting bombarded with people at your company. May I ask why you decided to work with us? Well, uh, I got a good feel with you talking to you. Um, yeah. The other guy sounded like um, a, a new a New York ballbuster, to tell you the truth. Yeah. And I, I had an appointment with him, and all I had to do was is um, everything was five hundred bucks as we got going, but. You know how you listen to somebody, you, you kind of read between the lines. I've been in direct sales for forever, since I was a paper boy at, at 12 years old. Yep. So, I mean, I've been dealing with people my whole life. And, um, you know, there's, uh, there's a good feel for people when you meet them, talk to them. Uh, and the guy seemed pretty, um, uh, I guess you the word I want to say is legitimate, but there's that little voice in the back of my mind that may cause the hesitance. Mm, yeah. And I always listen to them. So these other companies, how did they try to reach you? Do they just call you randomly? or? Well, I don't know how, you know, the way media works, if you look up an insurance company, you get 5,000 insurance agents calling yeah so for example uh on, on uh, uh instagram yep it says your car insurance is 39 dollars a month well i happen to need car insurance at the time so i i i, I called one and that's the other one i got 50 people calling and then i see advertisement after advertisement on instagram you know I mean, here's one says, don't miss out. Get your website for only $199. And they keep scrolling through. It'll talk about, um, you know, do you need leads? Let us, you know, create leads. Mm -hmm. um, and they have all different prices from $97 to $500 to, you know, and it doesn't give you any review. So when you hit it, uh, yeah, I mean, okay, here's one. Stand out from the competitors with the whiteboard animation video just for $169. You know, double your leads. You know, I yeah. mean, it's on and on and on and on. I, they, they don't stop. And uh, and another thing, this other guy said it's going to take him up to 30 days to get me going. I don't want 30 days. I want to start next week. Right. You know? Yeah. And by you telling me we can get you going. 
relatively quick, and you know that's the way to go. I mean, right here, website and digital marketing, full package, fifteen hundred. You know, website mm -hmm. and hosting funnels, automated um, uh, AIs, SEOs, Google Ads, meet the ads, yeah. and go on and on and on. Well, that's similar to what you're offering. Yeah. You know, and so. Um, yeah, design and develop for smart business, $149, custom websites. That's why I'm asking, how much does your friend cost? I mean, this guy wants to put together a website for $149. My question is, it's not really my company that I'm using, and so I'm paying for all this. Yeah. And it's okay with me because it gives me an opportunity to, to you know, use a contractor not have to have a contractor's license use his um discounts much better than what i can get by myself so you know um it, it's just you know those um uh what do you call it uh, side jobs they advertise on social media all the time you know get paid for uh, reviewing a product get paid for uh, oh yeah nine thousand dollars i mean there's there's thousands and thousands yeah. of them and the thing is i found out what it is they're just getting information from people those jobs don't really exist and what are they doing probably selling them selling them information so you know mm -hmm. um, a lot of scams I mean, social media management software 149 dollars starting huh. that you know damn well by the time you get into it, it's going to cost you Five hundred to a thousand dollars when you're finished with it all. Yeah. You know, but that's just like any again the advertising. And they do, you know, they do that all the time. So, uh, you know, nine steps to create a website. I don't know the first. I don't know the language. When they say go to this, go to that, I don't know where to go. Right. And so I have, I have no. Uh, I can Google how to make a website and I can't understand the directions. That's why I'm hoping, uh, you know, that everything will go good with your company and, and we'll do well. Um, I, I don't need to make a million dollars, but, uh, you know, I'm retired. Yeah. So what I'd like to do is get this up and running to the point where I can sit back. You give me 10 leads, 20 leads. I just jump into a couple of salespeople, let them go out and make the sales. But I have everything put together for them. They don't have to know anything, you know, other than present it. So I don't mean to be long winded. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. So do you like ever get agencies that just randomly call you like a cold call or anything? Oh uh, yeah. A lot of times and a lot of times it's a scam and I don't even answer the phone. Yeah. Yeah, it's I understand. It's not going to stop. So how do, how do you, you know, you're an expert of what you do. And I want at least for cabinets. You know how to target those people. Correct. You know how to go to the people that are looking. Now, hello. Uh, yeah, this is Mary. And we're in the area. And we're giving free water tests for people. Some water softeners, you know. And this is Mary from the solar, blah, blah, blah. You know, you get tax credits. I mean, and people don't answer their phones anymore. They market, you target what? Websites, or I guess you'd say um, Instagram. All right, so there's just one more thing I'd like to do. So if you go to the left panel and scroll up on the left side, just scroll to the top where it says partners, click on that. And then let me see. See where it says pages? And the arrow to the right. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Click on that. Then scroll down a little. All right. So keep scrolling down. Then click on the same arrow for the ad account. Yep. And then scroll down. Um, let me just look at something on my end real quick. So when you get a lead from me, you, you, you're going to email and text message it? Yeah, I'll just text you or if you prefer email. 
Uh, whatever you prefer. Both. All right. Yeah. I'll let you know when you get leads. Make sure they get to you. So I think that's it for now. Um, okay. I'll let you know if anything changes in the future in case I need anything else, but it looks to be all set. So if I want to add, we're going, I think what you're focusing on is um, home improvement. Is that correct? Yeah. And then right now we're doing cabinets, but we could, we could do the um, carports and roofing mm -hmm. um, additional, right? Yeah. We and could then, always add that on. I would say the more of the products you have, the more leads you could get. Not necessarily. No? Because the more products you have, so we're spending $500 on ad spend. And then if we have more products, it'll just distribute um, the, the $500 into the three things. So let's oh, say... So yeah, so if we just did cabinets and roofing, it would split the five hundred dollars for the two, so it'd be two fifty each. So it wouldn't advertise each one as much. So that's, yeah, we'll keep it at just the cabinets for now. Then yeah, for now. If, if the budget gets bigger, then we can always add more. Yep. I may have told you this already, but I'll give an example. The last three people I talked to, I sold. Um, all the four people I talked to, I sold three. So it's a high percentage of, of sales when I get in front of somebody. Mm -hmm. So if I can just get you in front of a lot of people, then you'll I get mean, a lot of sales. Yeah, and, and then how, how would... Okay, we're doing the seven fifty a month, right? Yeah. So, um, does that ever increase? That would increase if you bring your ad spend up. So if you ever want to spend more than five hundred dollars on Facebook ads, then I would also increase my um my budget, like for my product, the marketing fee. to stay i'm at 750 now 500 goes to the facebook and of course is it 500 for instagram and facebook or just facebook we could add instagram too and it would still be 500 for both okay so it's not going to cost anymore no it wouldn't cost anymore if you advertise both places i see mm -hmm. okay i want to guess we're done yeah, that's going to be it for now. I'll get the ad creative set up and I'll let you know if I if I need anything else from you. And I'll let now, you know. I'll let you will I, will I see the ad? Yeah, I'll show you the ad before I publish it and I'll let you know when I publish it too. All right. Sounds good. So, I'll contact the website guy. I'll try to see if I can get a low price and you don't have to be interested, it's fine, but I'll just see the prices he offers, and I'll let you know. Yeah, all right. That sounds good. All, all right. right. Very good. I'm glad we got this put together. Yep. Thanks for your time. Hopefully, I'll be out there Monday. Hopefully. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.